All right, so today I'm going to be talking about two different types of enzyme-linked immunosorbent assays, otherwise known as ELISAs, okay? So the first type I'm going to talk about is an indirect ELISA, which is when you're looking to detect a specific antibody. The second type is called a sandwich ELISA, which detects a specific antigen, okay? So in an indirect ELISA, an antigen is absorbed to the wells of a plastic plate in a monomolecular layer. Excess antigen is removed by washing with PBS. PBS wash or any type of other wash that you can do. And you add some sort of irrelevant protein. So let's pretend that right here you have an empty well, right? What you don't want is non-specific binding of the antibody that you add after. So you add an irrelevant protein, you wash again with PBS and then you add patient serum to the well, okay? You wash again, and then an enzyme conjugated antibody or anti-immunoglobulin, which is isotype specific, is added, okay? So I'll draw this right here. You now have antibodies that are bound like this, right? So you have your FC regions and your FAB regions there and that is patient antibodies. You wash again, and then you add an enzyme that's conjugated to a secondary antibody. So let me draw our guys here. And we have our antibodies. All right, and one more. So here we add in more uh, enzyme that's conjugated to a secondary antibody, so this one will be specific for your antibody. It's bound to the FC region, and it's conjugated to some sort of enzyme. Enzyme there, and once again, we'll draw that here. And with the enzyme right there. Okay, so in the last part, you're going to add some sort of substrate, a colorless substrate that's added, and then the color reaction that, that comes out of this will, um, will be read by some sort of uh, absorbance reader or an automated plate reader, and then you quantify the amount of antibody by the uh, absorbance that you get. So I'll just write this down really quickly. So we have antigen-coated wells. You have specific antibody to be measured. Enzyme conjugated secondary antibody. And then you have an added substrate. So I should draw that in like this maybe. So the substrate comes in, then you have a color reaction. Now, in a sandwich ELISA, it's a similar process, but you're looking for a specific antigen. So in this case, we're going to have antibodies that are bound to the wall by their FC portions, because you want to have their variable regions exposed for... Um, for the antigen that you're looking for. So draw all four of these. Okay, so you're gonna wash this after some non-specific, uh, wash it with some non-specific antibody once again. So here's your wash, then you move to the next one. You add your antigen that you want to measure. So in this case, we're gonna put this in red. So here's our antigen. You wash away any non-bound antigen here, so it's all gone. How to the next one? So we'll draw this here and here. In this next one, you're going to add an enzyme conjugated to a secondary antibody once again. That's going to be bound to the uh, bound to the antigen here. So like that. And once again, it's conjugated here. So here's your enzyme. And, oops, I didn't draw it in the last one again. And 
and enzyme. And then you add your substrate and measure the color once again. So this one, you're detecting your specific antigen. So there is a difference there. So you use your sandwich ELISA when you want to look for an antigen and you use your indirect ELISA when you want to detect an antibody.